on the back of the cafe racer I have these what used to be chrome wheel adjusters or chain tightener things they're really really rusted I can clean these off with some coca-cola and aluminum foil but that trick's just temporary so I'm going to remove these today and replate them in rust proof zinc to strip off the old chrome and rust I'm just going to pop these in my vibrating parts tumbler badass all of the rust and the old chrome is stripped off and it's ready to replate with zinc the way this is going to work is I'm going to have a container filled with some DIY electrolyte solution. The part in on a wire and one wire goes to the battery and the other wire goes from the battery to a zinc cathode. When I apply electricity to this, the ions are going to flow from the zinc cathode onto the part which, and it will be all covered in zinc. Most of my electrolyte solution is just this plain tap water. It's about 40 degrees Celsius. So don't go too hot with the water because chemically it will actually accelerate the plating and it will form crystals which is bad. I'm going to add two sporkfuls of sodium carbonate. It basically balances the pH of the electrolyte solution and the salt in it helps conduct electricity in the electrolyte. This stuff's pretty cheap. You can just pick it up as washing soda. You would normally add some vinegar to the solution to make the electrolyte a little acidic. I don't have any vinegar, so I'm just going to use some pickle juice. This is my anode. The zinc plate, you can just buy it like a boating supply store. They use them as sacrificial anodes to prevent galvanic corrosion on boats. I just need to drill a hole in this so I can hang my wire on it. I'm just going to use some electrical grade assembly tape to attach my wires to my power source. The red is hot, the black is power. Before zinc plating, I'm just going to wipe the part down with some methyl ethyl cassetone. And attach one wire to my part and the other wire on my zinc anode. So with the power hooked up, I'm just going to submerge both my zinc anode and my chain adjuster. The electricity is going to flow through the electrolyte solution, taking zinc ions from the zinc plate and transferring them to my part, which creates the zinc plating. And this should only take about three or four hundred seconds. That should be enough time. That's badass. Check out that plate. So the zinc part looks a lot better than just the raw metal and the zinc plated part's not going to rust now that it's protected. So I'm going to finish up and do this one and get these back on the bike. My zinc plating is so badass, I'm giving myself 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. If you like the video, share it with your friends and click here to subscribe to the Ichiban Moto YouTube channel.